Bosnian genocide denial is an act of denying or asserting that the systematic Bosnian genocide against the Bosniak Muslim population of Bosnia and Herzegovina, as planned and perpetrated in line with official and academic narratives defined and expressed by part of the Serb intelligentsia and academia, political and military establishment, did not occur, or at least it did not occur in the manner or to the extent that has been established by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and the International Court of Justice, through its proceedings and judgments, and described by subsequent comprehensive scholarship. These two aforementioned courts have only ruled differently with regard to direct responsibility in perpetrating acts of genocide in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The ICJ, in a proceeding brought by Bosnia and Herzegovina against Serbia and Montenegro, has only made rulings to the extent in which Serbia was not directly responsible for the perpetration of the crime of genocide, but was responsible under customary international law, violating obligation to prevent and punish the crime of genocide. Nevertheless, in its 2007 judgment the ICJ adopted the ICTY's conclusion from Radislav Kristek's conviction and concluded that what happened in and around Srebrenica from 13 July 1995 was done by the army of Republika Srpska, with the specific intent to destroy in part the group of the Muslims of Bosnia and Herzegovina as such, which constitute acts of genocide committed. Theodor Marone, the presiding judge at the ICTY The Bosnian Genocide is widely acknowledged by genocide scholars as the biggest war crime perpetrated on European soil since World War II. The Bosnian genocide refers sometimes to the genocide in Srebrenica, perpetrated by Bosnian Serb forces in summer of 1995, or refers to the wider crimes against humanity and ethnic cleansing campaign throughout areas controlled by the army of Republika Srpska during the 1992-1995 Bosnian War. The events in Srebrenica in 1995 included the killing of more than 8,000 Bosniak men and boys, as well as the mass expulsion of another 25,000 to 30,000 Bosniak civilians in and around the town of Srebrenica in Bosnia and Herzegovina, committed by units of the VRS under the command of General Rako Mardic. The ethnic cleansing campaign took place throughout the areas controlled by the Bosnian Serb forces and targeted Bosniaks and Bosnian Croats. This campaign included extermination, unlawful confinement, mass rape, sexual assault, torture, plunder and destruction of private and public property, inhumane treatment of civilians, the targeting of political leaders, intellectuals, and professionals, the unlawful deportation and transfer of civilians. It also included the unlawful shelling of civilians, the unlawful appropriation and plunder of real and personal property, the destruction of homes and businesses and systemic destruction of places of worship. Besides ICTY and ICJ, other international bodies, such as the European Court of Human Rights and the United Nations General Assembly, have also passed resolutions acknowledging that genocide occurred in Bosnia. Similarly, the 2005 resolutions of the United States Congress and Senate declared that the Serbian policies of aggression and ethnic cleansing meet the terms defining genocide. Also, three convictions for genocide have been reached in courts in Germany, where the convictions were based upon a much wider interpretation of genocide than that used by international courts. The origins of denial lie with a small group of Serbian nationalists, supported by part of the Serb political and media establishment. The post-war situation generated a stance within Serb culture that Serbs were the aggrieved side and that certain historical events had curtailed national goals. Sonia Bisako, president of the Helsinki Committee for Human Rights in Serbia at the time, drew parallels with other examples of negationist historical revisionism and denialism, such as Armenian and Rwandan genocide denial. According to Bisako, the methods range from the brutal to the deceitful. She noticed that denial, particularly in Serbia, is present most strongly in political discourse, in the media, in the sphere of law, and in the educational system. Investigating culture of denial in Serbia, 
Bisako and the University of Sarajevo's criminology professor Adina Besarevak have pointed to this. Denialism in Serbian society as a culture of denial. Stating in their examination that. Denial of the Srebrenica genocide takes many forms in Serbia. During the Bosnian War, Slobodan Milosevic had effective control of most Serbian media. Following the end of the war, denialism continued to be widespread among Serbians. Revisionism ranges from challenging the judicial recognition of the killings as an act of genocide, to the denial of a massacre having taken place, and uses a variety of methods. The finding of genocide by the ICJN.